Hello everyone, welcome to SATIC GK quiz number 317. This video is aimed to help you with your state and central government exams like SSC, UPSC, state PSCs and banking and insurance related examinations like RRB, IVPS, etc. I'm Ritusha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Consider the following. Number one, notes. Number two, coins. Number three, credits. Which among the above come under the category of common money? Correct answer is one and two only. Notes and coins are common money, whereas credit is bank money. Consider the following. Reserve Bank of India notes. Number two, Treasury Bills of Government of India. Number three, Bills of Exchange of 90 Days Maturity. Number four, Demand Deposits. Which among the above are near money? Correct answer is two and three, which are Treasury Bills of Government of India and Bills of Exchange of 90 Days Maturity. Treasury bills are presently issued in three maturities, namely 91 day, 182 day and 364 day. Treasury bills are zero coupon securities and pay no interest. Rather, they are issued at a discount, at, which is at a reduced amount and redeemed, that is they are given back at face value at maturity. Reserve Bank of India is bound to maintain a reserve against the note issue, whatever may be the amount. The system is called what? It is called minimum reserve system. The minimum reserve system is followed from 1956 onwards. Under the minimum reserve system, the RBI has to keep a minimum reserve of rupees 200 crore comprising of gold coin and gold bullion and foreign currencies. A bank included in the second schedule of RBI is called what? It is called a scheduled bank. A scheduled bank in India refers to a bank which is listed in the second schedule of the Reserve Bank of India Act 1934. Banks not under this schedule are called non-scheduled banks. Scheduled banks are usually private, foreign and nationalized banks operating in India. From the given option below, bring out the one which is not an instrument of monetary policy. Correct answer is open market operations. An open market operation is an activity by a central bank to give liquidity in its currency to a bank or a group of banks. Which among the following sector contributes maximum to GDP in India? Correct answer is tertiary sector. The tertiary sector or service sector is the third of the three economic sectors of the three sector theory. The others are the secondary sector and the primary sector. The service sector consists of the production of services instead of end products. What is the minimum and maximum number of banks which can participate in a consortium loans? Correct answer is minimum to maximum has no limit. In the financial world, a consortium refers to several lending institutions that group together to jointly finance a single borrower. These multiple banking arrangements are very similar to a loan syndication although there are structural and op operational differences between the two. Which of the following actions of central bank can increase deposit component of the money supply? Correct answer is lowering reserve requirements or decreasing the volume of reserves. The central bank can influence the money supply by modifying reserve requirements which generally refer to the amount of funds banks must hold against deposits in bank accounts. By lowering the reserve requirements, banks are able to loan more money, which increase the overall supply of money in the economy. In which of the following actions will be taken by Reserve Bank of India to curb excess liquidity when the deficit financing increases? Correct answer is increasing CRR. If the RBI hikes CRR substantially, banks will have to increase the loan interest rates. Thus, hike in CRR leads to increase of interest rates on loans provided by the banks. Reduction in CRR sucks money out of the system, causing to decrease in money supply. When money supply decreases, the inflation comes down. In which year Tax Reforms Committee was constituted by Government of India? Correct answer is 1991. It was the Raja Shalya Committee. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.